Hello, my name is Jason and welcome to Best Blog Reviews. So today I'm at IWA 2023, one of the world's, if not the world's largest trade show for outdoor sporting products. In what has to be said is a beautiful, historic, but at the same time, pretty cold Nuremberg, Germany at the moment. So because the IWA is specifically a trade show and thus not open to the public, my goal here is to go inside, meet with some of the movers and shakers or the, the biggest brands and the best known brands in the world of optics and hopefully discover a few new ones. See what they have to offer, what's new, what's trending and share my findings with you guys. So before I freeze to death anymore, let's get inside and start right now. So first off, I met up with Robert Wilton of Koa Optics. As well as their range of binoculars, he was kind enough to take some time out, show me what Koa are probably best known for, and that is their spotting scopes, and in particular, digiscoping with their spotting scopes. So we've got our spotting scopes, and also we have all our accessories which are compatible with our spotting scopes. We're using something, we call it the Koa system, and that is an accessory collar which is on the scopes, which is compatible with all these different applications so you can improve not just having a, an optical tool, you've got a tool that you can use astro eyepieces, you can put smartphones, digital cameras, extenders, so you can really increase the functionality of the spotting scope. And one thing I want to show you today is our universal smartphone adapter. Smartphone digiscoping, where you put a smartphone onto the spotting scope, is becoming more and more popular. And COA have always been at the forefront of the, the smartphone um, digiscoping uh, revolution, really. So uh, this is a Smartoscope Vario. It's a universal adapter. It has uh, an eyepiece, interchangeable eyepiece ring here. So it offers push-on simplicity with a universal adapter. And you can put small smartphones, you can put very large smartphones into this adapter. It really is very easy to use. So I pop it in, we have an adjustable clamp and I can secure the, the phone in there. It has felt pads to protect the phone, very secure fit. We have an optics rail here which extends and rotates so that can accompany the largest current smartphones available on the market today including a hard case very often as well so it really is universal in its true sense. So I'm going to select one of the lenses there so I just align, I lock the optics rail and that will not move now, that's solid. I've got this ring here, this ring is designed to fit our um, eyepieces for our large objective lens scopes here but we also make solutions for Zeiss, we make solutions for Leica, we have adapters that you can use Swarovski um, eyepiece rings and we also have a universal ring which uh, will accommodate smaller eyepieces up to quite large eyepieces so we've got the market covered so high grade materials aluminium it really does feel solid so I'm going to show you how, how easy it is to smartphone with, with this adapter so it's push on that's how simple it is I'm going to push on over the eyepiece and that's it it's a good secure fit Let's turn the phone on. I'll go to our camera app. And now the phone has now seen what the scope has seen. So I can very easily remove this vignetting effect. Because this, this iPhone model has got a wide angle lens, it's seen the outer edges of what the, uh, the eyepiece is seen. So rather than digital zoom, I'm going to use the power of the optics. I'm going to crank up there. I'm now at full 60 times magnification now on the, on the scope. But because the Koa scopes are so good, their optics are so strong, we can really push the limits of this digiscope. Very, very little amount of chromatic aberration. Yes, the, the chromatic aberration is really well controlled. I mean, this is our 77 model. This is using a very high grade XD Koa lens in this, but we've also got the pure fluorite crystal models, the 88 and the 99. So. Just a quick tip, if, if you're going to get into your smartphone digiscope, I'll try and see this with my camera. Look, it smiles all day. Yeah, we're looking right down the hall here. And bearing in mind, we're indoors as well, so that, you know, the, we, the, the light is not, is not great in here. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So a quick tip, this is if you're using Android or iPhone. When you're combining 
the optics of the scope and the optics of the camera. What you want to do, you want to take control of the focusing. So I'm going to lock down the phone. I'm going to tell it by holding the autofocus, the, hold the screen down, that's locking the autofocus now. If I don't do that, the phone's trying to find focus and I'm trying to find focus on the scope. So it's conflicting. So it's much easier if you lock the phone down and then focus manually on the scope. So you've got full control. As soon as the image is sharp on the screen, take the snap, and there you go. That's how easy it is. And of course, you can shoot video. This, this model here, this phone's shooting in 4K, super slow motion. The, 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 the opportunities are endless. The phone fits in your pocket. You're going out with your scope. You don't need to take huge, bulky lenses. The equivalent here, this setup I've got now, is the equivalent of roughly, approximately, an 1800mm camera lens. So you imagine, that, that doesn't actually exist on the market. You look at some of the, the large telephoto lenses from a traditional DSLR setup. Right, okay, so there you have it. I just want to say, once again, thank you to Koa, and in particular Robert, for taking so much time to talk to us about the digiscoping adapter. You know, my initial thoughts or ideas for the IWA show was to have one single video that encompassed my entire visit to the show. But in reality, I spoke to more people than I imagined and people were very, very generous with their time. So uh, rather than having one enormously long video um, or worse than that, cutting out what I think to be uh, really interesting and informative uh, content, I'm going to split up what I, the, the footage that I captured into a number of uh, short episodes. So to be sure to um, see the, the next one or, and the ones after that, uh, subscribe to the channel. That's always going to be a good thing because one, it's nice for me. And then two, you'll be sure to see the uh, next episode as and when it comes out, hopefully in the next couple of days. And um, just as a quick teaser, the next uh, manufacturer I spoke to was Swarovski. And I had a super interesting discussion with them as well. Um, and I spent, finally got to spend a, a good amount of time with their NL Pure binoculars. So do be sure to check that one out. Other than that, I just want to say thanks uh, very much uh, for watching. If you have any thoughts, questions, ideas for future videos or whatever, as always, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my very best to get back to you. So I'll see you once again, uh, hopefully very shortly in the next couple of days. Uh, until then, cheers for now.